Hello and welcome to this Photoshop tutorial on how we can mix and match files very simply without really needing to know about how to be a graphic artist. As you've noticed, I've got two PSD files here. And PSD files are the basis of Photoshop because they have layers. Just like using a word processor where you probably only use about 10% of the program's capabilities to do 90% of your work, the same applies to Photoshop. Just by knowing how to use a few of the tools, you can do nearly all the work that you would need to do. And so we're going to create a new business card for our company using just a few tools and we're going to show you how to do it now. So what I want to do is use this background here in this file and you can see it's all been grouped very nicely. So it's just a matter of dragging and dropping onto our new file. Now I don't want the rounded edges so I'm going to use a tool that we use a lot called Transform and Scale. And this basically allows me to expand the graphic in any way I like. Just move the little handles out and we've got rid of the circles and we've got our background ready to go. If we just click on this arrow whenever we do any transformation, which is called the Move tool, it will just then allow us to apply those changes to the file. Now I really like this John Doe file over here. And so by clicking on the arrows, we can see what makes up this file. We can turn the different elements on and off. But as you notice, it's not in a group. So I'm going to create a new group. And I'm just going to add these files that make up that graphic so I can drag them all across very easily. So I can close the group and then just keep clicking on and off to see which ones I need. So now if I turn that off, we should have nearly all the bits in the layer that we need. Now I can just drag this across onto my file and I have that nice banner ready to go. I can change the text in there. So if I go to group one and I see John Doe there, I just highlight the text and I'll put my name in there instead. Now the text doesn't fit quite, so I can go and use my transform tool again. So as you can see, we're starting to use the same tools over and over again. And apply. We can maybe move it across a little bit with our arrow. Now, I don't want that yellow, I want it to be more like the orange. So once again, I just go find that yellow, I can see it here. Just turn it off and on to make sure. And I want to change this gradient overlay. So I want to change this color here. And so it's just then a matter of going and finding the gradient that you like. And you can see it appear in real time as you do it. So we'll just go OK. Now this is maybe a little bit short, so we can again go to our group go to our edit, go to our transform again and we can just expand it out a little bit more. So we just have a little bit more room. I might just make my Quentin Brown just a little bit smaller and scale it just a little bit more. And obviously I can change the color of that text as well. So I might like to change it to make it a bit darker. Now I want to take this part here and put it in here. So this is called the logo text. So it's just a matter of dragging it across again. And we can drag across individual elements as well. So we could just drag across that part of the text if we wanted to. We just use Control Alt and Z to go back or use our edit, but I want to drag the whole thing across. 
I'm going to drag that into here. And we're just going to put that in the middle here. I'm going to use my text tool. Now it's going to say I don't have this particular font. But that's all right. We'll just convert it and use a font we do have. So we're just going to put in P and apply. And a Kiva we're going to change. And we're going to call this consultants. Now we'll edit that again and transform. As you can see, I'm starting to use the same styles over and over again. And apply. Now if we want to make that top one a bit fatter, it's just a matter of highlighting and going and finding a text that we like that's maybe a bit fatter. So I'll use this one. The consultants. I'll leave as that. For the freebie text studio, you notice that you have to be on the same layer that you're editing. If you try and do it on a different layer, so if I was on this layer and I tried to edit it, I wouldn't be able to. Now you'll notice the text here is spread a little bit. So this is our text tool which allows us to change the spacing and everything. I'll use the tool again to apply. I'm going to up this a little bit. So I'm going to go again and use my transform tool. I could also just use the text tool. However, the transform tool allows us to really manipulate it more. So we'll just go apply. So we can close this now. And so if we want to do move that whole text, we just click on the group that we've created. Now we want to bring over our text here. So I'm going to use the text out of this one as well, which is this one here. And I want to make all that text a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to go and edit again, transform, scale. And apply. I don't need that Mr. Raffi because I've got my name up the top now. So we're going to change that and make that our phone. So it's a bit bolder. Put in our email here. Change this to our website. And so there we are. We'll apply all that. So as you can see now, we've got a really nice business card that we made out of this file and a little bit of this file. And we can now take this to the printer and he can print them up for us or we can print them on our own printer. So as you can see, very easy to do. Now if you'd like to learn more about how to use our mix and match system and the simple way to build graphics, why not come and visit us at MSI Photoshop. The price of the course is just $19 and you'll learn even more how to use Photoshop for your business.